The rescue is complete, but the story needs backing up. Along with independent research, Jackie and Christine present their findings to Chris and Amanda to see what matches up. Um, we felt that there was a presence of a male spirit in this house, that this was a very strong presence and particularly not particularly nice feeling. Mm -hmm. A strong presence of a male in spirit. Now, I feel very uneasy about this spirit. Um, we also felt that we were being followed, being chased, being watched. I tell you what, he's still with us because I am absolutely freezing on one side. We, we were up against a very, very strong character here. I feel like I'm going to be sick. Oh, God. <sighs> the gentleman that was doing this was William Clare. The Clare family originally owned this land and built a log cabin on it in 1828. This land here was owned by William. Okay. This, this was his land. In 1852, William's father John died suddenly and at the age of 13 he became responsible for his mother, five sisters and the family farm. I, I've just got a, an image now of farmland. Adjacent to the farm, William Clare built a house on this land for his remaining family. He died there in 1913. Yes. So there we go, that's the house. That's the original house. And this is, so it was in this spot when he tore down the wall? The house was roughly here, yes. Why, why would he want to go near the kids, though? The kids have certain energies? No, it's energies not a case or... of him wanting to go near the children. It's a case of him trying to get attention so that you would bring someone like, like us husband. in. The rescue mediums believe that William was powerfully tied to the land and unable to cross over. That was the reason he had haunted the family. He was being prevented from accessing your children. Your grandfather was standing, making sure that each one of those were all right. He was protecting your children. Jackie and Christine believe the spirit that was haunting Alana's bedroom was that of Donald Jenkins, Amanda's grandfather. <laughs> Unreal, because from the time we moved in here, I'm not sure if you're aware of what happened with Alana, we moved in here and she started to complain of this man who watched her sleep. I'd like you to have a look at that it sketch. Is. So him. which grandfather's that? That would be Donald Jenkins. That would be him, and that was my mum as a baby, yep. Yeah? This photo of Donald Jenkins bears a similarity to this psychic drawing, made weeks earlier by the rescue mediums. She just said her room is completely different. She, she feels happy with it. Yeah, I don't know if it's part of her imagination that's lending to that, but I certainly know that she is loving her room now and Girl, that's, that's, and that's so yeah, one of the main reasons why I, that's what we I was aim. very open to this so. that's what we aim to do <laughs> <laughs> so things should be okay now and you certainly look a hundred percent better we feel like we're back to normal mm -hmm. right. well our job's done then thank you so much you're welcome we so appreciate it Jackie and Christine bid farewell. Ooh, wow, it's a cold, cold night. Thank you so much. <laughs> you are so welcome. Thank Pleasure. you very much. Thank you. Thank you. We really Thank do you. appreciate it. Keep Thank you. You do wonderful work. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Now we'll enjoy your house. We will. You. Yep. Yep. Bye. Say goodbye Bye. to the children, Paul. We will. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. The rescue complete. Jackie and Christine end their day with another spirited discussion. Do you know what about this one though? I felt really sorry for the, for the family there because they were having to all either sleep together because they got problems like with, with spirit in the house so they couldn't sleep. It's a shame. I don't know how they feel. Do you? Yeah, because when I have a lot of spirit, I can't sleep either. <laughs> <laughs> I can stack it. I can't sleep. Cheers! Cheers! <laughs>